Hey everybody, Thursday afternoon. Hope everyone's doing great after Halloween this week, beginning of November, beginning of a new month. Uh, I'm really excited for November actually. It's the kickoff of the real holiday season. And I don't know about you guys, but where we are, uh, I think Costco had Christmas decorations up like beginning of October, but I think we're gonna gear into American Thanksgiving. And then I like Christmas. I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people don't like the holiday, don't like the stress of the holiday. But I think that, you know, through this month, through the next few weeks, I'm going to try to talk a little bit around managing stress during the holidays. Um, but I think today I'm going to close out a loop that I just finished here this week. So on Tuesday, I hosted a workshop on anger. And it was, you know, really well received, just like what I did it live for the stay at home dad conference back in September. Um, you know, it's a really great topic. I love talking about anger and how to overcome anger. Uh, for those of you who didn't um, sign up for this version or this time, I'm going to be probably doing it maybe next month. I'm trying to rotate out some different workshops with people and give them some different opportunities to show up and get some training. Um, but again, one of the questions that came out of the anger talk was, you know, I talk a lot about acting versus reacting. When we talk about feelings, when we talk about um, how we as men and we as you know individuals react, a lot of times we don't look at the counterpart, which is acting. Um, and so one of one of our attendees asked that question offline, and he kind of said, "Hey, can you elaborate a little bit more on act or react?" And I thought today's a perfect time to get that going, um, especially as we're going into November and get you guys thinking a little bit about living in an acting type role versus a reacting role. So I put up the line, ready, fire, aim. This is, I think, how most of us operate our day-to-day -day lives. We react to situations, whether it's through our emotions or whether it's our actions. I believe that we're all oftentimes just walking through day-to-day -day routines and just whatever comes to us, we act in that moment. A lot of it doesn't have a lot of foresight. A lot of it doesn't have a lot of planning. And we kind of get moved around by the currents of the day or the currents of the situation. And at the end of the day, end up feeling exhausted, feeling like we're not in control victim mentality kind of starts to bleed in you start to feel like the victim you're you know making excuses blaming judgment all of those things i think come from a reactive environment so where does it start does it start first thing in the morning does it start for you halfway through the day does it start stop at the end of the day or is this something that you're not even really aware of and i think that's where we start we start with awareness and i think i always start with awareness piece and trying to understand you know where is it coming up for you when do you start to feel like you're being reactive do you even notice it or are you a zombie living day to day in the moment you know going to waking up washing your face taking the kids to school going to work making dinner falling asleep is everyday routine and is this a routine that you want is this a routine that you chose or is this a routine that you've just fallen back into so Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between action and acting and reacting. And I think these come from two completely different parts of our brain, right? They're, you know, we've talked in the past a little bit about the prefrontal cortex, which is our evolved brain. It's the part of our brain that makes decisions. And then our amygdala, which is our lizard brain, which is the fight or flight part, which it, it keeps us safe. I often think a lot of the times our reacting is coming from that primitive brain, right? This is the part of the brain that's trying to keep us lazy. It's trying to create efficiency. Try to reduce pain and effort. This is also our pleasure, but it's also seeking pleasure. So there you go. When you're reacting, it's you're, you're in a default setting that's following this programming, reducing your effort, reducing your pain or avoiding pain, 
and then increasing or seeking pleasure. But when we're acting, we're using our evolved brain. Now, this is the part of their brain that makes good decisions. This is where our logic is. This part of your brain is future focused. And this part of your brain is past focused. So really, when I talk about acting versus reacting, I talk a lot about, are you going to do something in the present that affects your future? Or are you going to do something in the present based off of what happened, what's happened in the past? And if we're looking to grow and if we're looking to overcome certain things, we need to be acting from this part of the brain and not from this part of the brain. And unfortunately, we are designed as human beings to try this for a little bit and then fall back into this. Right. This is this is the comfort zone. And this is usually where that growth and that discomfort come from. So if I was going to use it as an analogy with anger, when we're angry, right, when we're emotional, when we have those high emotions, we're instantly re reacting from this position of fear, you know, pleasure seeking. Um, usually with pain, with with uh, anger, it's not pleasure seeking, but it's definitely to reduce pain and to usually to get away from a situation. So we are coming from here in this primitive brain. But if you take a step and you allow your brain to catch up, you allow that evolved brain, which goes slower. This acts fast. And that's another good uh, point here. This one acts fast. Right. And this one acts slow. So in order to act over react, we need to slow down. We need to give our brain time, our evolved brain time, to process all the information and then slow down to make the decision intentionally. You know, intention is a word I love and it's something that I often try to go back to is living intentionally, making intentional decisions. And intentionality just means doing things on purpose, right? And I hate the phrase by purpose because that doesn't mean anything. That's like, it happened by purpose. I don't, I, I don't know if you've heard people say that. I hate that one. It's on purpose. You did something intentionally. You chose to do it. Oftentimes when we're reacting, it's not a conscious choice. It's just our default setting. It's what we've done over and over and over and over again. But if we give ourselves time and reframe it and ask ourselves the question, I, I pose this question whenever you want to act versus react, what do you want to do? It's a very powerful question. A lot of times we'll throw up a lot of have to's, I should's, all these other things that make us feel bad. But I love the empowering question, what do you want to do? And that comes from a place of action. When you're reacting, you don't ask yourself that. So when you're reacting, you're not asking what you want to do or what you're intentionally doing. You're just doing that thing that you programmed yourself to do over and over and over again. So here you're being kind of a victim to your training and here you're actually creating the situation. This is also kind of falls into the creating versus consumption part of our brain. So I hope that that kind of clears it up a little bit, gets you thinking about action, how you want to act, how you want to show up every day. One exercise I love to do in the mornings is frame my day so that I can set it up in a intentional manner. So I'll ask myself, how do I want to show up today? I see all these different tasks that are in front of me. How do I want to approach them? Do I even want to approach them? Do I want to schedule them out some, some other time when I have my mindset is better prepared for it? But it allows me to choose and not play victim and play catch up throughout the day where I'm, rustle, where I'm rushing, hustling, um, feeling that overwhelm and then starting to get snappy and irritable and then, you know, blowing up. Right. Which is something that we definitely don't want. So I hope that helped. Um, 
like I said, drop a comment below if you guys are interested in this kind of a live where I go into a question. I love answering questions. I love being prompted. Um, I'm going to be going into kind of the stress of the holidays over the next few weeks. So definitely going to be talking about planning. Definitely going to be talking about how to manage uh, situations you don't want to be in. Also, you know, trying to reframe and uh, create good memories during these holiday seasons versus stressful ones. Um, and we'll definitely be talking more and more and more about intentionality and choosing what you want to be doing. So thanks everyone for viewing today. Hit the subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Um, like it, forward it to somebody who you think might be, uh, who might benefit from this one. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.